any NFL, my colleagues and I are taught to handle winning in the most dignified manner. Turf talk in the locker room must maintain a certain decorum. My fellow players enjoy nothing more than the delightful reverie of sweet victory. I just want to say it feels real good to win all the team like that. However, some of these guys still need a little work. champagne but we'll drink our beer i got my best line of the year man got my best line of the year bum phillips knocked on the wrong door hey super job of working hey super job of believing just like what we talked about at practice hey you know when you ever go after a big gorilla you don't ever hit him lightly. Hit you hit him with everything you got. Yeah! I need to move here. I love it! I love it. I just want to say it feels real good to win all the thing like that. This is a tough moment in a way because was this the final game on the sideline for a great coach, Bill Walsh? The motivating drive for me has been for the athletes that have tried, but yet and still have failed to reach that certain achievement. And also the athletes that, uh, that didn't get an opportunity to, like the Overstreets and the Delaney's and the Brian Piccolo's. Thank you. Very best wishes. Congratulations again. Well, thank you, and give my best to Nancy. <laughs> Where's Ricky Sanders? <laughs> Here he goes. Boy, I love that man. I, I, I know you're watching hard. I love you. Of course, the nuts and bolts of the Dallas Cowboys is... Uh... <laughs> a man that wears a funny hat on the sidelines. I wasn't going to do this, but... Uh... 
Tom Landry is the nuts and bolts, and I appreciate him. I know for a fact that there is no most valuable Viking. There are only 40 most valuable Vikings. I, I just can't accept this. Thank you.